that was solid. That was that did not give. Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Kyle, and this is Rich from Backcountry Adventure Motorsports. And today we're bringing out the snow bikes. Um, like you've seen in the previous Instagram posts, if you guys follow us, um, we have a 2005 KTM uh, 450 EXC with a uh, 2011 timber sled track on it. This total build, not counting some accessories and stuff I added, is under $3,500. Rich, go ahead and tell me about your bike. So I got a 2015 Husqvarna FE 501. Uh, this total build with the recluse clutch and all the accessories, including the snow kit, uh, is about $18,000. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna see what a budget build bike and a cream of the crop bike, how they differ, and if it's really worth the money to spend more or try to find your best deal and just make one happen for you. And the beauty of this head to head is we virtually have no experience riding snow bikes. We're brand zero. newbies to this. So you got zero experience with zero experience. So it's purely gonna be the bike. Either that or, uh, I think we're equal riders. So pretty, pretty yeah. close, yeah. yeah. Well, here we go. First ride on the, on the timber sleds. Got Rich behind me, and so far so good. It was a little sketchy on the ice, but now we have a little bit extra snow here, even on this grim stuff. It's acting so much better. More like a dirt bike. Still real heavy in the front, but not too bad. So far so good though, huh? I'm having so much fun. This is where it's at. Yeah. Oh, what happened? You help picking it up, you got it. Jeez. Went to put your foot down and there was nothing there. <laughs> Yay, I'm not the only one. I'm gonna try to go straight through here, maybe. Maybe. I think you gotta have some speed. That's the thing. You gotta get up on top. Oh, tree. Oh, baby. Tree. Oh. Uh oh. I done messed up now. Deep right here. You have to hit it straight. Yeah. <laughs> um, hmm. Oh, shit! <laughs> you okay? Yeah. If I fall over, I'm like completely screwed.
Brock got himself a little bit of a situation here. <laughs> the hole next to his place. See how he makes it out. Okay, so we just got back, and I would say first ride was a complete success. What do you think? Yeah. I mean, I mean, it, it, it's hard to explain how. I mean, it doesn't even seem natural that that thing right there works. It doesn't even seem natural, but it once you get on there and then you start doing it, and you, it takes like an hour or so maybe to get really to get the hang of it. Especially not, as long as you're not on groomed crap. Well, this stuff, I mean, that, that's, that's what we went on last time, and it sucks. And so we met a guy here in the parking lot, and I think he said what was true. He said, when you first start riding on this stuff, you're going to think, man, did I just waste all that money on a, on a piece of crap that's no fun. And then you get out in the deep powder, and it just comes alive. It's just amazing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's... And it... You can't grab enough throttle. You just you just keep cranking on it, and it just goes. It doesn't make any sense. You stand it up. It's like I would say it's similar to riding a jet ski, right? Yeah. I mean, it's it's insane. But yeah, I think I think the census is that no matter if you have an expensive bike or a budget bike, just get out and go do it because it's a blast. Hey guys, I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos just like this, and uh, we'll keep in touch. Thanks again.